and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wolves 2. I am so sorry. No, Star Wolves 2. No, Star Wolves. I'm so sorry about the last episode, though. That was horrible. But I imagine if I was doing it in, you know, hard difficulty. Instead of when my common sense kicked in and we did it normal. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Should we go for the Brigand first? Can we have a... Let's have a look at their weapons. That looks like Polaxe. Or some other heavy kinetic weapon with low accuracy. Another low accuracy weapon and another low accuracy weapon. Right, we don't have to worry too much about those guys. There's another Brigand over here though. With a Gatling gun. Uh, that may be bad. Stay ready. Yeah, for now... Just ignore the fact that that's got a Gatling gun. What sides are anti-fighter side? Okay, our right side seems to be roughly our anti-fighter side. Or is it? Is that doing what I think it is? I don't know. Is it the right side that's anti-fighter? I don't know, I cannot remember. Uh, yes, it is right side. Left side, even. That's anti fighter. You have to be dealt with soon because you've got an anti fighter weaponry, effectively. What is there to do? Full damage detected. Yeah, I know. Suck it up, princess. There's gonna be more where that comes from. Okay, kill the Yari. So far we got no other enemy contacts, so that's brilliant. Deal with that pirate, cool. No. How? What is there to do? Uh actually, no. Oh you guys, defend the Sarwolf. Sarwolf, come over this direction. On my way. We'll creep up on the actual center itself. Enemy contact detected. Okay, what do we have? We have an Excalibur and a hatchet. What is the Excalibur carrying? The Excalibur carrying a minigun. A oh, bloody minigun! State ready. Oh, sure. Come over this direction. Star Wolf, I mean. Okay. All of us uh, will go after the Excalibur and we'll deploy a missile on her. Okay. I went so missile happy last episode. I hate my few past self. Fuck you, past monkey! Oh. Kill it! Any second now, you'll kill it. Any sec. There we go. Cool. Uh, go after that now. Everyone. Stay ready. Ooh. Star Wolf, stop a second. No, you can't just stop and grab it. You have to move up. What is this also? A mini. I got it. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, stop right here. What do we have? We have a mace, nice, and a skate pod. You may as well dock, Cursor. A mini. Oh, okay, we got minis. Not quite what I'm looking for, but reasonable enough. And a skate pod. Okay. Docking completed. Okay. Stay uh, move over this direction, please. We need to get closer to this and see what's happening. Uh, in the meantime, though, Corsair, can you please grab yourself a Gatling gun? That would be perfectly fine. Um, is that it? What's this? A poleaxe, okay. Yeah, that's perfectly fine for now. Uh, we got nice mount more Mervs. We, when did we get more Mervs? I don't remember getting more Mervs. Oh, whatever. Sure. 
I may actually go and grab some Mervs then. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some Mervs. Uh, when you're docked? Perfect. Uh, I shall grab myself a nice pack of Merv. He's packing Mervs, people. Yes, he is, isn't he? <laughs> Launch completed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. Everyone follow the Star Wolf. Hello, this is Automatic Dispatcher. Oh, sorry. Hello, this is Automatic Dispatcher for our, of the Central Office. Or, wait, no. No, that's not a robot, is it? I have no idea. Anyway, hello, this is the an automatic dispatcher of the central office of LS Standard Trust. If you have an appointment, please give your personal code. Otherwise, you can leave a message. Uh, we have urgent business. We brought food and medicine. You see, Astra, there's no one in. They don't even want to talk. Let's go, let's go get back, even. Uh, we are in urgent business. We have brought food and medicine. Albert Rowling here. I am the commander of Lono War Forces of Resistance. How do you manage to get here? You're mercenaries, I guess. Right, we have been hired to supply you with humanitarian aid. It's great, you're here! I... but I've... I have to disappoint you. At this station we have insufficient supplies. Oh, that's bad. But at other stations they're not doing so good. Uh they really need your help further. Certainly, we shall help them. Guys. Hey guys, your contracts are not finished. We still have some work to do. Good. Great! I have transmitted you the coordinates of our stations. If you, ev if you even send the fighter with you... What? I will even send a fighter with you, though we will... We do not have many left. I've got special freight that should be delivered to Lenore, the Lenoa sector. Thanks. We're going to unload the cargo and see what we have. Well, we have some repair modules, excellent, and excellent long-range missiles. I think this freight will be more useful to you than us. Oh, really? I guess so, but I still have some more questions for you. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Why did the automatic dispatcher not answer us? We haven't had a lot of visitors re here recently, of course, except from the triads guys. I'd certainly... S and they certainly... they consistently scurry about, but... Uh, we didn't want to talk to them, that's why we have engaged the automatic control unit. I see. Uh, what's that? Ah... Uh, why are you at war with the Triad? Because they're bad guys and they've been shooting down cargo and they want you to join a faction. The Triad decided to take over. When the political attempts and threats failed, the Triad decided to use force, but our transports in the sector are confiscated. Our transports in this sector were confiscated or attacked and communication with colonies and other sectors are blockaded. Or blocked even. I've got it. Uh I've got it. May I ask you a question? What's that? Um, tell me about the resistance. We are few in number. Basically, it is what is left of our security force. We have few fighters and we're trying to wage a guerrilla warfare. But the Triad's patrol is n not... When the pa Triad's patrol is not around, our pilots go out. They hide in the dust clouds and ambush our enemies. That's all we can do for now. Yes, I understand, but we have, we would like to know, um, how did it all begin? It all began when the Triad Corporation constructed a station in our sector. It was okay in the beginning, but soon they started to play master and decided to take over the Lenovo system. I understand, but can you tell me, uh, why they say your sector is blockaded by pirates. The corporations such as the Triads control even the mass media. If these tactics by the Triad become widely known, a large political scandal will break out and some corporations like I Inco and USS may take advantage. So, a cover story of pirates blockading the sector is very convenient. I heard that the Triad or even ha hired some pirate clan to cover up its presence in the sector. And make all the fake stories real, with inverted commas. I see. I still have some more questions. Um, 
Why doesn't the patrol or navy help you? I've just got one exp explanation. The triad are very influential allies among the leaders of the world, or universe, or galaxy, or whatever. The most likely among the top ranking officers in the navy, if we manage to survive, we shall find a way to get the information to the emperor. Though, every day he has less and less power. He is only a person who can he is the only person who can change the situation. I've got it. Hmm. Thanks, now I have everything I needed. I'm kinda of curious what these missiles and stuff are though that we apparently got. Oh, we got some daggers. Ooh. Maybe I can be a bit more willy nilly again with them. Oh, oh, enemies. Ooh, that's bad. What are you using? Brigands and a hatchet. Okay, that's just a pull axe. You have just a pull axe again. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. What is there to do? On my way. Okay. I just hope we don't run into people with torpedoes. That would be mean. <gasps> Yay! Oh, he's he's firing missiles off willy nilly. He's gonna be useless soon. Ugh. On my way. Affirmative. Move over in this direction, Star Wolf. On my way. On my way. I would like that cargo. Okay. What? Nice job. Just follow this guy, uh, the Star Wolf again, please, people. Escape pod and another escape pod. Nope, a Maxim Mark II. Right, cool. Affirmative. Oh, over this way, I guess. Hmm. How do you open the contacts panel? That one? Yeah, that one. Okay, we have quite a heavy lay arm fleet, uh, not fleet, uh, tri-fly. <sighs> tri-fly. Okay, for now, Star Wolf, just move along as you would. Uh, everyone deal with that as soon as possible. What's the Yari got on board? She's got a Catalan gun, that is not good. I'd like rid of the tri fly though. Ow. What is there to do? On my way. Okay, there goes the Yari. Wow. Um why did we fire all why did all the missiles track on the Yari pretty much? I have no idea. Okay. Well whatever, that works. Kind of. Oh, nice! An ECM storm and a Gatling and an escape pod. Uh, we'll quickly dock and rearm. In the meantime, uh, after that's done, we'll move back. Uh, right, speed up time, may as well. Okay, uh, let's get ourselves released. And follow the Star Wolf, please. Okay, hello. Okay, what do we have? We have a Naginata, a Brigand, and a Hatchet. Okay. For now, we'll just merrily go along, ignoring the fact that they're there. For a little. Okay, that's fine. Hello, this is Western Office of the LS Trust speaking. We have received a message from Central Station concerning your arrival, but we hardly believed you managed to get in. We ran out of food a week ago. We are very grateful to you. Never mind, we're just doing our job. Uh, two of our guys decided to help you. Our sensors are cons constantly detecting triads, large transportation, spacecraft patrolling the sector. 
It seems to be a mobile base. If we destroy it, they will be seriously weakened. We can provide you with the information concerning the craft's movements. Uh. Uh. Thank you, but your offer oh, is going to take these guys with us. Okay, thanks, I guess. We'll take your guys with us. Okay, and you come over in this direction. That's actually quite nice. We got another two Yari? That looks like a Yari to me. It is a Yari. Okay, well, we got another two Yari. We're getting ourselves a little flotilla. Nice. Okay, any idea where this base is over there? Okay, that's good. We'll go to this uh, northern Enemy station. Then once we've been here, we'll go after that base, I think. Okay, hi. I don't want that second flight to come after me yet. That's a hatchet and an Excalibur. Excalibur has quite heavy gun. Has that Gatling gun on the bottom, that's not great. Also, Star will face the other side towards the enemy. Okay, Star will go after the hatchet. Ooh, ow. Oh, I wish I had the chromium. Why didn't I take the chromium? I should have taken the chromium. Oof. What is there to do? Uh, just stop there. Actually, move over, face this side. Oh, stop hitting me with missiles. You're a dick. You're a dick. What You're a wanker. Oh. Okay, one more. One more volley. <laughs> you got it. There, perfect. Told you you had it. Uh, go after this. Okay, we got an ECM minstrel, an escape pod, and. And a mini from him, a boxer, and a mace from him. Okay, and more enemies. Oh god, it's a pair of Naginatas. Ooh, that's dangerous. Uh, is anyone, any one of these look particularly weaker? Uh, you've got many, like, very small guns that doesn't look like you can do much damage with. Okay, none of them are particularly stronger looking. What? Uh, Triad Yakuza and Yakuza. Okay, they're both the exact same rank as well. It's nice they broadcast the rank. Why are you firing upon the Star Wolf? Go away! Well, goodbye, Corsair. Yep. Uh, yeah. I hope I've got the right stuff on the Naginata and the Excalibur I've got remaining. Okay, that, that's a nice hit. That's a nice hit. I'll go with that. That's just my guys being retarded. Okay, used to go after that other Naginata now. What 
Uh, Star Wolf, move forth. On my way. Mm -hmm. I wish I could command these other guys. Cause, no offense, I'd fling them in like sacrificial lambs. <laughs> you know, just for reasons. Wait, what the? Ah, uh, there's more. Brigands, Naginata, uh, uh, do that, please. Wait a minute. We at least have another ship we can give the other guy. Uh, why not? Just why not give him the other ship, I guess. Uh, take a storm. And get in that. It's not really your type of craft, but nor was the brigand, to be honest. Uh, there, good. <laughs> I was about to say, you're gonna fail hitting this thing. I'd like it if you didn't, but you know, if you can't not fail, then I, I guess I understand. Uh, you, Doc. Used to maintain the fight. That mobile base is getting closer, is it not? It is. It's moving towards us very slightly. Mm -hmm. And very slightly doesn't make much sense, but you know, words. Okay, what have you dropped? You've dropped a poleaxe. And a uh, maxim to What is there to do? State ready. Okay, come on. Uh don't please. From where you are, you stop. Dragon what you can. Don't you dare get that craft lost. Me. Oh, this is not great. I would like to be talking now. Okay, nice. It only took forever, but nice. Uh, right, what's this that's coming in? Alongside her. It's a brigand. Uh, we should be fine with a brigand. Hmm. Missiles, we'll get some darts along with our, uh, what do you call it, craft? The ace. Ah, uh, right, so... Let's undock uh, ourselves and get this moving. Let's get this party on the road, so to speak. I said, let's undock. Ace, undock. Thank you. Why am I saying ace? Uh, me, undock, please. Uh, for now, disable that. Go after the brigand. Stage ready. Affirmative. Affirmative. Uh, actually, you know what, we'll go after that, using all that we can in Firebear. Brigand theoretically should be able to just melt quite quickly. Okay. No, continue your attack. I made a mistake. Oh god! What that Yari pilot melted, that's not good. Who's this? It's a hammerhead. Mm. 
update ready. Okay, everyone fire upon that, I guess. Ah, uh, me run away. Uh, hey, so why have you not fired any of your missiles? Oh my goodness, why have you not fired any missiles? <laughs> oh, this is not good. I'm gonna die. Yep. I'll be back in a bit when I get to roughly the same point. I'm so sorry, it's gone horribly. Okay, welcome back. Also, I just remembered I had the quick save function. You know, that thing I completely forgot I had. Wow. Like, just wow. I'd spend all that time trying to remember to learn it and then, you know, completely forget it. Also, I'm just gonna send minis flying basically everywhere. Because I have plenty of them. Like, I've got, what, over 30, I think, now? And if I hit them, they will be deadly to fighters. That is a big F, though. Uh, fly over in this direction, Starwolf. Thank you. Finally listening. You know. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, go after that next. Yeah. Uh, you guys go after that. That's an Excalibur. Fire that missile off, please. Nice hit. Okay, go after the hatchet. Look, I'm getting bloody minis everywhere. No wonder I've got so many. Mace, a minstrel. I'm wondering if I should actually send my fighters to attack this, because it seemed like it had anti-fighter bloody weaponry. Boxer. Wait, are my guys going after it? They are! Stop. Just stop, man. Bloody hell. Bloody hell! Uh, can I activate that? Yeah, that. Perfect. Um, hmm. Which I think was the best way of going about this is, I guess, just keeping the wolf with the rest of the pack. Will attack on as uh, in tandem. Mm -hmm. That's not good though. Oh, piss, it's the pair of Naginatas. Activate that, please. <sighs> Survive, Ace! <laughs> nice! Oh, I love these missiles. These missiles are so good. Uh, Ace, return home. Please. Minus one. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. Wee. That's not good, you guys. You don't want to be attacking that. No. No. You don't want to be attacking that. I don't think you quite understand. You don't want to be attacking that. Have we got any long, long range missiles? No. Okay. Ugh, this is going to be tricky. Uh, I need to dock. Hello, this is Neurobio, LS Station speaking. We are happy to see you and we are ready to take humanitarian aid on board. Don't waste time, just pick up your part of the cargo. Uh, thanks. We've been tracking your movements. Uh, you are in a real war. We trust that one day our systems will be independent again. We have shipped some of, uh, some containers full of short range rockets. Oh, sweet. We are sure you'll know how to make the best of them. <clears throat> I bet. What kind of short range missiles? Oh, more daggers! Okay, I take it back. I think 
spamming the missiles was actually the right idea now. Uh, Undock please, people. Undock please, people. There, cool. Right, used to also set on the wolf now. We're just hunting this guy down, but he's continuously moving, which is a pain in the arse. Wait, what the? Oh, they've got their own base. That's the station that we were hearing about a bit. We're just hunting this guy down now, with the intention of killing him. Okay, uh, the guns on the right side are the ones that are used for anti- Ah, uh, shit. Oh, piss! We used a Merv. I didn't want to use a Merv. Oh well, what can you do? Okay, come on everyone. My ship's melting. <laughs> okay, so we got the escape pod. I guess, at least, from him. A Merv Swarm, that's good. Another Merv Swarm. Another Merv Swarm. Another Merv Swarm. And a mini. And anything else? Merv Swarm. Merv Swarm. Merv Swarm. Ah, uh, I was hoping maybe there was a fighter in there, you know. Like any Excalibur, that would be nice. Yep. Okay, well, I guess we'll get a couple of auto cannons into this. And if we go to systems, we'll also. Oh, what's this? A werewolf emergency repair system. We'll fit that. And. That will do, for now. Oh, I need a storm! Um, you know how I fitted the storm into this? Um, you can keep that instead, and I'll take a storm. A storm. <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. Uh, right, anyway. You, get into that. Uh, everyone, undock. Please. You stop moving. Star Wolf. Okay, what do we have? Launch okay, cool. Yeah. And we just have a tough pirate, Excalibur. Uh, turn off the missile systems. What is there to do? Uh, move over this direction, actually. You know what? Use three. Stick on the Star Wolf for now. We'll break off when we're close-ish. What is there to do? I'm wondering if there's anything else here. We still have that mail flotilla. It's only three ships now. Hello, this is the commander of the TS Tourist se uh, Station. Are you guy? Are you the guys who came to save us? Well, not ex no. Obviously, we are. I had received a message from Central saying that you are carrying humanitarian aid. I am very happy to hear it. Uh, we are ready to start unloading. Good luck. Let's begin. Excellent! I have told you. I have been told to help you, however possible. I will send a guard with you who will provide you with some support. Thanks. Some support could be of great help to us. It seems we've been everywhere and we have fed everyone. So, what? Uh, so we can turn back. Uh, we could. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, that was sweet, whoever the hell that was. Good job. 
on my way. Okay, we need to pick up that stuff. Uh, rocket pods, but it looks here. Prana? Uh, minis, actually. Oh, more minis. Sure, a gasoline gun and the pod. No, I think you see a minstrel. Minstrel. Minstrel, minstrel. Is minstrel better? No, minstrel's the first one. Not me. Okay, let's speed this up a touch. And. I'm kind of curious what those guys say. Also, save it. There we go. Albert Rowling is on the line. Uh, you have done well, guys. Unfortunately, it hasn't solved our main problem. While the main support station of the Chiad is still in the sector, we are still under their threat of attack. Yes, I remember you mentioned something about it. I want to hire you. I have enough explosives to destroy the station. Oh, okay. We want you to put some bombs in specific places near the station. You guys have demonstrated what you can do, and I think that you will be able to cope with this job. Officially, the uh, destruction of the Trias station will be seen as a pirate attack. Uh, what shall we get for it? We are ready to pay by securities of our corporation or imperial credits. You choose. The sum will be about 3,000 credits. Huh. We agree, Albert. 10,000 credits transferred to my account. Woo! Nice. I just, wow, nice. Uh, Star Wolf, I guess. Let's quick save that, yeah. Oh, hello. I enjoyed flying with you. I'd like to join your team. I love adventure. Um, you fly a clumsy transporter. You will only hinder us. You will be shot down in the first few seconds of a fight. I have a personalised fighter in this transport. Well, almost a fighter. It's maneuverable and fast. And I'm a good pilot. You won't regret it. Besides, I'm lucky. If you're even half as good, you can join us. Wait, what? Even half as good as what? Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, sure. Join the team. I would love you to be in my team. Did you just ditch your transport ship? Oh, whatever. Sure. What are you in, actually? You're in a yacht. You're in a bloody... Ugh, no fainter at all. Is there anything I can give you at all? Hmm. I wouldn't really say this is a fainter at all. Grr, grumble. I want to see what it is. A uh, yacht. Big racing yacht re-equipped as a fighter. So, uh, it is so rare, such crafts have many merits, and the main being their extremely high speed. But, because of such ships never were intended to fight, the armour themselves leaves much to desire. Huh. Yeah, the armour is pathetic, but look at that shielding. I don't see it going great, though, leaving you alone with just that. Ugh, this is just rudimentary. This is not going to be great for you. Uh, I guess shades, if we can get you hidden, that would be nice. Mm. I don't think I can do much right now with her. Eh, uh, well, whatever. We'll deploy her again. She'll do better than not having her. After all, the Corsairs and a shit that he's not bloody good in either. See, this out has no missile whatsoever. Just make sure, is everyone here? Yeah, everyone's here. I have a quick save it here. Right, continue on. I vaguely did remember about Astra becoming our 
uh, pilot or one of our pilots. What is there to do? Ooh, what's that? An ECM minstrel and a war axe. Okay. Oh, hi! An eraser? Huh. A minigun. And an ECM minstrel. I think the razor is a uh, friendly weapon. What is there to do? Laser weapon. Enemy detected. Uh, is that just the station itself? Nope. It's others. Everyone form up, please. Okay, we're gonna activate that, and everyone's close enough. Go for it. Open her up. Okay, that should theoretically, I guess, deal with both of them. Oop. And they were shot down the other one. Okay, we should be able to deal with it though. Okay, that's good. Uh, only I need to talk, really, to be honest. Escape pod. What is there to do? Affirmative. I got it. Uh, move over a bit. Oh dear, what do we have? It's a hammerhead. A hammerhead. Oh, hi there. You're carrying a torpedo. That is... that is... disconcerting. Uh, Starwolf, stop right where you are. That looks like a torpedo. I'm pretty certain that is a torpedo, to be honest. I really do not want to be hit by a torpedo. Do that. Get rid of him. As soon as possible. Oh wow, you didn't die. Okay, continue firing upon him. Okay, that's good enough. Wow, the refire rate on those torpedoes was a lot... No, missiles is a lot faster than it suggests. Affirmative. <sighs> yeah, go to the bomb locations. Astra, you go for the furthest one. Ace, you go for that one. don't know exactly what I'm meant to do, but I'm going to guess that just me moving close enough to this will work. No? Okay, maybe not. Maybe it has to be the Star Wolf. Kinda would make sense, seeing as how she would be the only one with the supply for it. No, Wolf. What? Go to the bomb location. Affirmative. No? What's wrong? Affirmative. Ah, we still have five bombs to set. Kill. Cool. Four. Three. On Hurry up. First off, I'm going to farm as much as I can from this. Like, I'm going to take the stuff that's floating around here. 
two more. Plop. Plop. Oh, I need to dock. And good a time as any to do it right now while I'm collecting. And a razor. That is a torpedo, isn't it? I think it is. It is. Hello there. Um, one torpedo in a suspended container does 250 damage. That is pretty damn sweet. Anyway, the use of anti-ship torpedoes needs great skill and caution. Torpedoes have a big lock-on time, plus the large explosive range. It is recommended that you, they are launched at maximum distance, intended as a weapon against capital ships. Torpedoes haven't enough speed or maneuverability to be used against fighters. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's just not speak the times where I did that in free space and <laughs> launched torpedoes against other fighters. One bomb left to set. Okay. And we're done here, I believe. Right? We're done here? Am I right? Am I wrong? It's done! Let's get out of here! It's gonna blow! <laughs> That's what she said. No. Ah. Whoop. There we go. That is bright. Return for an award. Alright, so we did. We did it. Sweet. Um, first off, let's just get everyone into a one wing. And we'll just tell it to follow Starwolf. No, hey, destruction of the Triad Station. Over to the CS Central now. We have a lot of fighters. We have a ridiculous amount of fighters with us right now. It's brilliant! It is glorious. Okay, we're fine for now so far, but it looks it. Kinda hoping that Trust uh, Central doesn't have any ships on the way. How many missiles do we have now, anyway? 132! Bloody hell! Just so no one wonders why the hell I am wasting them, that's why. This is Albert Rowling speaking. You have done it. Nice job! Now we can renew our transportation communications. We will pay you what you prefer. 300 credits or an equivalent sum in stocks. I would advise you to take the stocks. Now they cost nothing, but in the short run, while their price... Their, but in the short, their price will rise again. Uh, we'll take the stock, I guess. By the way, you probably do not know what you that you've become real heroes for millions of people in our system. You are the main story of our local news. I am authorized to declare that you are now honorable citizens of Lenowar, Lenowar system and will always receive a hearty welcome here. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's nice. We'll make your exit. Um, yeah. I'm Glad to meet your acquaintance, I guess? Can we take your fighters? I would like just one Excalibur. I don't even need many of them. Just just one. No. No. Okay. It was worth a try. I, I would just like one Excalibur. Maybe the Naginata. Just a hammerhead thing? No? Okay. Okay, mission is ended. Huzzah! So, we now have a new member of our team. Her name is Astra. Oh, aftermath. Uh, we only got a th thousand for bounties. Eh, yeah, it's not bad. We didn't see how many we got for beforehand. Eh, it's not bad though. Nice big chunk of money though. So, uh, let's see. Um, Corsair, you need more flight experience. Maneuverability is improved by 10%. Uh, black Market. Maybe I need to get Black Market for you. Hmm. I 
think it'd be nice for me to also get it, but that's beside the point. Favourite weapon, small guns. Oh, okay. This character is an expert in small guns handle. Oops. Small guns handling. Every time he uses a small or rapid firing heavy gun, he acquires plus 30% accuracy and plus 10% bonus. Okay. Ace, what's the favourite weapon lasers do for you? This character is an expert in handling lasers. Every time he uses a laser, he acquires 30% accuracy and 10% damage boost. Hmm. Uh, Astra, in spite of her increased combat skills, could never survive in violent space if she wasn't so lucky. <laughs> uh, twice per mission, she can call on her luck for protection. At the moment, uh, nearly half of the direct hits to her and our friend's ships mysteriously don't do any damage. The effect lasts for 30 seconds. Tremendous luck. Impressive luck. Luck. Tremendous luck. So this is twice? Yeah, twice per mission. Tremendous luck. Ah, uh, in spite of our increasing combat skills. Never find uh, Last for 30 seconds. Direct hits to our friends and allies. Nearly three quarters of the hits. Okay. Two thirds. So two thirds, three quarters, and... Four fifths. That's actually quite nice. And five times per mission. Hmm. Uh, Berserker's technology adaption. Not all weapons and equipment can be used as is. Berserkers have their own technology and haven't been heard about. But haven't heard about Imperial standards for using such salvage. One team member must have the skill in Berserker's technology adaption. I should have kept that laser. Ooh. I need to give you the uh, cleric or something, don't I? Because you've got a skill. Uh, yeah, basic gunnery. We'll chase you down the gunnery tree as well. Uh, yeah. Safe wingmen are able to cover our command. Sorry, what? Safe wingmen able to cover our commander during a messy fight was a dream of any pilot. A wingman with such qualities raises the odds of wings, especially in defence by lowering the chance of a successful enemy attack by 30%. Intriguing. Do we have any guns we can get for, you know, pew pew? Um, let's see, we can... Um, hammerhead gunship, I guess we could get that. Uh, do you have any preferences and weapons? And uh, no, so it'd probably actually be better if I got you a rapid fire weapon, wouldn't it? Just thinking about it. Individual in a such person has formed the habit of uh, counting on himself. He acts alone and makes better use of his skills. And nobody can get in his way. A pilot with this quality gains 20% advantage when piloting in a gunner. And the piloting and gunnery skills if he has a solo wing member. If he has a solo wing member. Okay. Yeah. Oh god, that's quite a bad way though. I'm going to chase you down this tree a bit. The Red Corsair is a legendary pilot. Alright, oh, survival. Uh, survival, such people can survive the worst situations. Uh, others, sorry, a success. Some say the ability to smell trouble it allows them to evade hits at 25% of the cases. Okay, well, I'm also going to get the black market for you. Because I'd like to see what it is. It's a lot more expensive, but there's some quite nice stuff in the black market. Um. Let's see, black market, what do we have? Ooh, uh, we have Raptor Reconnaissance. 
Uh, we have some Naginatas. They're more expensive on the black market, obviously. Uh, I'm going to bring the fighter out, sell it. Actually, no, we'll keep the fighter just as a backup. Uh, I'll put the fighter back here. Uh, we'll go back to the marketplace and we'll pick up a uh, Naginata, please. A Naginata, please. I'd like more than one, but I can't get more than one. Uh, that's that's understandable. Uh, guns. Um, uh, oh, hello, is this a laser? A melter. Capture uh, a turret with a plasma gun. A plasma gun intended for damaging heavily armored targets such as a corvette or bombers. It fires high temperature plasma, causing great damage to any ship. The main disadvantages are its low rate of fire and slow plasma clots. The flight speed that allows a mobile target to evade. Uh, Clot's flight speed that allows a mobile target to evade a hit. Nevertheless, during uh, the Red Corsair's war, Imperial pilots preferred to use this weapon, thinking that one or two hits would be enough to eliminate any pirate fighter. At the same time, though, you have to fire off quite a lot of shots and hope you hit. Uh, Polax, Morax, Volcano. I think it may be better if I got another Volcano. For now, there's no point in actually thinking about that too much. What we'll do though is we'll fit uh, guns onto this vessel. And this one. Make them a little touch more powerful. Uh, systems. Do we have. Uh, yes, we do. Minstrel. Uh, not Minstrel, a storm. Okay, everyone's got a storm apart from uh, the Naginata. So, if we go back to the trade post, and we'll buy a storm please, thank you. Uh, right, so, we'll place that in there. I uh, would like to sell all of these pretty much, apart from one I guess. We can fit it in there. Um, trade post, we... I don't really want werewolf systems. Or the boxer. Actually, no boxer can keep. I need to get Ashra some. Oh, actually, you know what? Ashra, you can keep that for now. You would actually do better in this craft, wouldn't you? You're always kind of useless, to be honest. Get in this craft. This is more a craft design for you, isn't it? Thinking about it. Because you are basically a support character, so if we do that, um, fit some guns onto you as well. Uh, that should do you for a bit. Wait, where are the other guns go? Oh, the other guns are attached to the other craft here. Right, uh, you take that, please. So we now have a pair of Naginatas and a uh, thing with this. For now it's better if you keep the Gatling gun. It'd be nice if we could get you the laser though. I uh, may as well keep an um, ECM Mintral on you. Uh, that's pretty much it, that's all that would be good to keep on you. Okay, you take all them and all of them, please. Oh, we're not going to have much army left at the end of all this. Uh, right, so... Hmm. Emergency in uh, weapon booster. Oh, I wish I had some Tech 2 vessels. 
Okay, we do not need all of these when we got uh, some more of the other ones. Uh, we don't need a volcano. Volcanic, even. We don't need any war axes. We don't need as many of these. I'll keep one as a spare, because why not? We don't need any of the Maximum 2s, because we got better guns. We don't need any of the mini guns, because we got auto cannons, but we'll keep two just in case. Um, when we've only got one mace, but we got two blackjacks. That'll do good enough for now. Right, um... Avalanche. Looks kinda nice. We'll grab all the star sharks. All of the avalanche and all of the daggers. We're gonna need them. Alright, okay, what next? I'm partially considering getting piranhas. Because it was nice to spam missiles everywhere, just like, um, kill it with the missiles, kill it with the missiles, kill it with the missiles! Ah. So we'll fit that with guns. Systems, we need systems, don't we? Uh, have we got a cleric system of some sort? Afterburner, boxer, troll, emergency repair, scouts, uh, gnome. The gnome repair system. A gnome nanite production of flight repair of damaged ships, gnome rate of 1 HP per second. Uh, the gnome system is a real nanobot's production plant with almost inexhaustible resources after learning about any damage that ultimately it automatically turns on and produces hundreds of thousands of microscopic bots. Programmed to repair, the shortcoming of such a system is a slow speed of work, but during the long flights these systems are more useful than disposable emergency repair systems. Yes, but that's not what I'm looking for. It doesn't seem that they have what I'm looking for. Okay, what about the black market then? Uh, anti wait, what? Anti-missile chaff? Oh, right, okay, yeah, anti-missile after. Cleric, please. Thank you. That was a lot more expensive than I would have wanted it to be, but whatever. I guess we have to deal with it. Uh, we'll put the cleric there instead of the shade. Uh, we need to get you some missiles equipped. Uh, we can think about that later, I guess. Uh, but anyway, the LRM-9 Avalanche is a modern version of the LRM-9 missile. The engines are as efficiency has been raised along with the addition of the new gauging system. As a result, there's increased range and stopping and stopped interference against ECM systems. Interesting. Have it has a damage of 70 over the 50 of the old ones. So I would like to, I guess, use them just to get rid of them. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to get rid of these LRMs at some point, so we might as well do it in the next mission pretty much. Uh, everyone's set up as best as it can be pretty much right now. Do we have any cargo? We do! We have stocks. We don't want to be selling those stocks right now. If I remember right, those stocks increased INCREDIBLY in price. Uh, there we go. And finally. There we go, perfect. So right now it's 16 times 200, so they're worth 33,200? Yeah. Hmm. Which isn't dreadful, but it's not good either. Anyway, news. Uh, making amends, okay. Oh, right, so we don't actually have any more news, really, do we? People mm. living in the system of Lenovar have had to endure three awful weeks. No, that's, of famine, that's constant the, tired that's rates, and almost the same. full indifference of authorities threatened to cause a catastrophe. Fortunately, the tragedy managed to be... No, no, no. People living in the system of Lenovo have uh, endured three awful weeks. The threat of famine, constant pirate raids, and almost a full indifference of authorities uh, threatened to cause catastrophe. Unfortunately, they 
Fortunately, even the tragedy to be it managed to be prevented. The spacecraft full of food and medicines managed to break through the pirates' blockade. The brave pilots hired to protect this transport managed to escort them to the system while repulsing attacks and destroying pirate craft. Now the food supply in the colony's uh, stations in the nowhere system is renewed. Mercenaries of the patrol force, with the patrol force's assistance, have got the situation under control. The pirates have retreated. Also, I just remembered. Um, I am going to replace one of these pole axes at least with one of the with that clock, the melter. I mean, so we'll buy the melter right now. I did do that in the trade market, right? Yeah, that. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I should grab any other ships just for additional. Uh, Keep me alive, Linus, if that makes any sense. Um, hmm. What's that on the opposite side? I think it is. This gun. This one's on that side, that one's on that side as well. What? I do not understand. Okay, um, still, replace that one, please. And then we'll sell that gun. It'd also be better just to get a war axe and another volcano. Ooh, just because it's better guns than the ones I've got right now. Let's get the war axe. Okay, I can still afford a volcano, that's great. Um, let's replace that pole axe. Oops. Uh, we'll sell that. Okay. And we'll grab the volcano. I know, we're basically wasting all our money on the Star Wolf, but theoretically it should be good in the long run. Anyway, I'll leave it there. So until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed. It's, these are very long episodes, and I'm very sorry about that, but, you know, I guess needs must. Anyway, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.